So, good morning everyone. Welcome to the first episode of Math Tinik Class. I am Renchals Gorospe from Maura Parikagayan and I will be your professor for today. For our first topic, we will talk about argument, premises, and conclusions. So, let's start our topic for today. So, let's start by defining the word logic. Logic is the science that evaluates arguments. So basically, it helps us to develop uh, methods and principles to be used as a criteria to evaluate the arguments of others in order for us to construct our own arguments. But what is argument? Argument is a group of statements, one or more of which the premises are claimed to provide support for or reasons to believe. One of the others is the conclusion. In other words, argument are group of statements which contains the premises or the evidences and the conclusion. For instance, all men are handsome. Jose is handsome. Therefore, Jose is a man. So the first and second statements are the evidences and the last statement is the conclusion. But, how can we identify whether the statement is a premises or a conclusion? The answer is, we have indicators. First, is the premises indicators. Indicators like, since, because, seeing that, and many others. Some examples of Conclusion indicators are therefore, so, hence, consequently, and etc. But how can we recognize an argument? So, arguments versus non-arguments. Arguments, at least one statement must claim to present evidence or reasons. This alleged evidence must claim to support or imply something. Basic non-arguments, on the other hand, are warning, piece of advice, opinions or beliefs, report, loosely associated statements, explanation, and conditional statements. Let's proceed to deduction and induction. Deductive arguments incorporate that claim that is impossible for the conclusion to be false if the premises are true. So, it states that if all premises are true, then the conclusion must be true. Inductive arguments, on the other hand, claim that it is improbable that the conclusion be false if the premises are true. Here are the common types of deductive arguments based on mathematics, from definition, categorical, hypothetical, and disjunctive syllogisms. Here are the common types of inductive arguments. Prediction, analogy, from authority, based on signs, and casual inference. Identifying valid and invalid deductive arguments. Valid deductive arguments are arguments in which it is impossible for the conclusion to be false given that the premises are true. In contrary to the invalid arguments, invalid deductive arguments are arguments in which it is possible for the conclusion to be false given that the premises are true. Identifying strong and weak inductive arguments. So, strong inductive arguments. These are arguments in which it is improbable that the conclusion is false given that the premises are true. In such arguments, the conclusion does probably follow the premises. Weak inductive arguments, on the other hand, is an argument in which the conclusion does not follow probably the premises even though it is claimed to. So let's proceed to the arguments form and proving invalidity. All valid arguments have this form. All A are B, all C are B, and all C are B. 
So, let's proceed to creating substitutional instance. So, in creating substitutional instance, we take the valid form of the arguments, which is all A are B, all C are A, all C are B. For example, all team sports requires three or more players. Volleyball is a team sports. Therefore, volleyball is requires a three or more players. So that's the end of our topic for today. I hope you learned something from me. Once again, this is Ren Charles Gorospe, your Matini teacher.